Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to achieve that clean makeup look. First of all, my hair, I'm trying to look like Bella Hadid. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, hair tutorial. Are you sure you want one? <laughs> the first step, which is very important, is to wash your face and apply moisturizer. The next important step is to do your eyebrows. I'm starting off with this YSL primer. This primer really makes your face look so glowy because it kind of has like glitter. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. CC cream. This is actually pretty full coverage, surprisingly. I like to apply my foundation with a stick. It's because I spread it out. Now let's blend it out. I look like a ghost. In the mirror, it matches me. It's just on camera. I'm in front of this white ring light, so it like... It looks white, okay? I don't know. My favorite concealer is the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Concealer. I'm not going to put as much as I normally do because when you want to look fresh and lightweight, less is better. I'm going to wait for the concealer to dry up a little bit, but in the meantime, I'm going to be doing my bronzer. So this is the Fenty Cream Bronzer, and then I'm taking this e.l.f. stipple brush. Before you put it on your face, you have to put it on your hand. This makes it so that it's a lot easier to blend out. You have to take a little beauty blender moment and blend it out a little bit so that it looks less muddy. Now I'm going to be blending out this concealer. Even if you have acne or textured skin, which the majority of us do, you're still clean, okay? Because there's been so many times where I'll look in the mirror and I'm like, dude, I just don't feel clean and I'll be fresh out the shower. And it's like the reason I don't feel clean is because it's been instilled in me that to look clean, you have to have flawless skin. So all my girls out there with texture skin, all my girls out there with dark spots, all my girls out there with tan skin who have hyperpigmentation, I'm just like you, best friend. I just have a ring light in front of me. I just have this $800 camera in front of me. Please don't compare yourself. A lot of the time, it's just lighting. For reals, dude. Do you know the amount of times where I've cried looking in the mirror? Next. Probably the most important part is blush. I'm using this Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Hope. It really makes your face look so youthful, alive, fresh, glowy. Now I'm going to be setting my face. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. Normally what I would do is I would set my face with a powder brush. But I'm not going to be using a powder brush because I only want to set parts of my face, not all of it. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the makeup to look more glowy and to do that you really don't need a lot of powder. But I always have to bake or else my under eyes are going to crease like crazy. So my dog has been limping for two weeks now. The doctor said she was just born with crooked legs and she's a Speaking of, that was her. Now I'm going to be putting a little bit of pink blush on my eyelids. Normally I would put bronzer, but because I want a more youthful look, I'm going to be using blush. I used to do this in the 7th grade. Worst year of my life, just kidding, 2019 was. I'm going to dust off a little bit of that powder. Before applying highlight to my face, I'm going to use setting spray. It's going to make it look more brighter. Let it dry up first though. So for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Sigma Beauty Highlighter. I actually got this set to me. No, this video is not sponsored, but I actually really, really do like this highlighter. I'm going to go in with the exact same blush that I put on my eyelids. Oh my god, this is the most important step. I'm guessing I'm going to have to put highlight again. Also, put some on your nose. It makes it look like you're like super cute. Just to brighten my under eyes. Okay. Okay, let me go in with a little bit more highlight. Okay, I'm going to just take a little bit powder bronzer and just put a little bit on my forehead. Because I feel like I look a little bit washed out. Okay, also no bottom mascara for this clean, youthful look. By the way, the eyelashes I'm wearing are these. I got them from Shein. I think they're like $1. Oh 
my god, I look like Kendall Jenner. So brow gel is also very important. It just makes your eyebrows look a lot cleaner and put in place. I'm just gonna be lining my lips now. This is the Nabby Lip Liner in the shade Medium Brown. That look better? Yes. Now I'm gonna be taking this Morphe lip oil. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. I always wear it. If you watched my recent TikTok video, then you know that the ultimate step to having glowing makeup and to make your makeup last all day is by putting your setting spray like this. Bye guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, bye. Go follow my Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna start posting a lot more, so be ready. Bye!